The 24 Hours of the Passion Preparation Before each hour, O my Lord Jesus Christ, prostrate in your divine presence, I implore your most loving heart to admit me to the sorrowful meditation of the 24 hours in which, for love of us, you wanted to suffer so much in your adorable body and in your most holy soul, unto death on the cross. O oh, please give me help, grace, love, deep compassion and understanding of your sufferings, as I now meditate the fourteenth hour. And for those which I cannot meditate, I offer you my will to meditate on them, and I willingly intend to meditate on them in all the hours in which I have to apply myself to my duties, or to sleep. Accept, O oh merciful Lord, my loving intention, and let it be beneficial for me and for all, as if I effectively and in a saintly way accomplished what I wish to practice. Meanwhile, I give you thanks, O my Jesus, for calling me to union with you by means of prayer. And to please you more, I take your thoughts, your tongue, your heart. And with this, I intend to pray, fusing all of myself in your will and in your love. And stretching out my arms to hug you, I place my head on your heart, and I begin. Fourteenth hour, from 6 to 7 a.m. Jesus before Caiaphas again, who confirms his condemnation to death and sends him to Pilate. My sorrowful Jesus, you are now out of the prison. You are so exhausted that you stagger at each step. I want to place myself at your side in order to sustain you, when I see that you are about to fall. But I see that the soldiers take you before Caiaphas, and you, O oh my Jesus, reappear in their midst like a sun. And even though disfigured, you spread light everywhere. I now see that Caiaphas is overjoyed in seeing you reduced so badly. At the reflections of your light, he becomes more blinded, and in his fury he asks you again, So are you really the true Son of God? And you, my love, with supreme majesty, with the grace of your word, and with your usual sweet and moving tone such as to enrapture the hearts, answer, Yes, I am the true Son of God. And your enemies, though feeling all the power of your word within themselves, suffocating everything, wanting to know nothing else, in one voice cry out, He is guilty to death, he is guilty to death. Caiaphas confirms the sentence to death and sends you to Pilate. And you, my condemned Jesus, accept this sentence with so much love and resignation as to almost snatch it from the iniquitous pontiff. And you repair for all the sins committed deliberately and with all malice, and for those who, instead of afflicting themselves because of evil, rejoice and exult over sin itself. And this leads them to blindness and to suffocating any enlightenment and grace. My life, Jesus, your reparations and prayers echo in my heart, and I repair and pray together with you. My sweet love, I see that, having lost any bit of esteem for you, seeing you sentenced to death, the soldiers grab you, add ropes and chains, and bind you so tightly as to almost prevent any movement of your divine person, and pushing you and dragging you, they put you out of the palace of Caiaphas. Crowds of people await you, but no one to defend you. And you, my divine Son, come out into their midst, wanting to envelop everyone with your light. And as you move the first steps, wanting to enclose all the steps of the creatures within yours, you pray and repair for those who move the first steps to operate with evil purposes. Some to take revenge, some to steal, some to betray, some to kill, and more. Oh, how all these sins wound your heart! And in order to prevent so much evil, you pray, you repair, and you offer all of yourself. But, as I follow you, I see that at the moment of descending from the palace of Caiaphas, you, my son, Jesus, meet beautiful Mary, our sweet mama. Your gazes meet and wound each other, and even though you feel relieved in seeing each other, yet new sorrows arise. For you, in seeing the beautiful mama pierced, pale and wrapped in mourning, and for dear mama in seeing you, Divine Son, eclipsed and covered with so much opprobrium, crying and wrapped in blood. But you cannot enjoy the exchange of your gazes for too long, and with the sorrow of being unable to say even a word to each other, your hearts say everything, and one fused within the other, you stop looking at each other because the soldiers are pushing you. So trampled upon and dragged, you arrive at Pilate. My Jesus, I unite myself to your pierced mama in following you to fuse myself in you together with her. And you, give me your gaze of love and bless me. Thanksgiving after each hour. My lovable Jesus, you have called me in this hour of your passion to keep you company. And I have come. I seemed to hear you praying, 
repairing and suffering, in anguish and sorrow, pleading for the salvation of souls in the most touching and eloquent voices. I tried to follow you in everything, and now, having to leave you for my usual occupations, I feel the duty to say to you, thank you, and I bless you. Yes, O oh Jesus, I repeat to you, thank you, thousands and thousands of times, and I bless you, for all that you have done and suffered for me and for all. I thank you and I bless you for every drop of blood you shed, for every breath, for every heartbeat, for every step, word, glance, bitterness, and offense which you endured. In everything, O oh my Jesus, I intend to seal you with a thank you and an I bless you. Please, O oh Jesus, let my whole being send you a continuous flow of thanks and blessings, so as to draw upon me and upon everyone the flow of your blessings and thanks. O oh, please, O oh Jesus, press me to your heart and with your most holy hands seal every particle of my being with your I bless you, so that nothing other than a continuous hymn to you may come from me.